Hey y'all, this is Jen and I am doing a Bible journal entry finally, as promised. So, um, today I'm going to Bible journal based on Matthew 21, 22, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So I'm going to use, so I, um, a while back on uh, Peachy Cheap, they had an illustrated faith, um, deal where you got um, a bunch of stamp sets um, and then I have this Bible journaling stamp set from American Crafts. I think I got this from um, Michael's. Um, I don't think I'm going to use any of those. Um, and then I also have this one that I got I think at Joanne on clearance. It's a Hampton Art um, stamp set. Uh, God's answers are wiser. I may use this one. God's answers are wiser than our prayers. Um, or this one, faith consists in believing when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. Um, they also have this Helen Keller. There's there's two of the same one. Um, faith is the strength by which a shattered world shall emerge into the light, but I probably won't use that one. Um, faith is a knowledge within the heart beyond the reach of proof. Maybe that one. Um, I have this pray here. Um, I was thinking about doing one of the girls and coloring them in. I really like her. Um, but this one has, I don't know, maybe this one, and then maybe this, take a deep breath and surrender, surrender and rest. Um, so we're going to get started. I'm just going to color with my colored pencils in here, but I'm really feeling this first today. Um, as a lot of you know, I've been, um, going through some struggles, um, and when I um, was trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do in my Bible, um, this kind of just spoke to me. So, I'm going to go with this one. And I'm using my Versafine. Um, it's um, a good pigment ink for fine details, and I really want these... Um, to be like crisp so that I can color them and I'm actually going to pause for a moment because I forgot to get my little thing that I put underneath here so it doesn't bleed through and so I'll be right back okay y'all um this is um from illustrated faith um I got it I believe I got it from the website um but I have two different sizes um, this has like glue on it from another project I was doing, but I do put it in between here because these pages are um, kind of thin and I just don't want it to seep through. There's that one, and then Let's see. I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do this one. God's answers are wiser than our prayers. So typically what I do, because um, it's been a while since I have done a Bible journal entry on camera, um, typically what I do is, um, you know, while I'm um, deciding what to, you know, I kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, I kind of let myself be led as far as um, what I want to do in here. Um, and while I'm coloring and, um, you know, designing my page, typically I'm like, 
praying in my mind and just, you know, talking to God and trying to be open um, and just, you know, use it as a time to get closer to God and just, you know, spend time with Him in the Word. Um, sometimes I'll listen to music, Christian music, while I'm doing it, or I will um, listen to a sermon. Um, I listen to um, Dr. David Jeremiah on YouTube. I also um, listen to, um, there's a podcast, let me look it up real quick. Um, let's see, I actually just listened to it. Um, it's called uh, the Miracle Channel podcast, and they have a lot of different pastors. Um, I believe they post every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, today, I listened to Believing When You're Not Seeing with Joel Austin, which kind of led me to this verse because he talked about um, believing even when um, you're not seeing any work. So like, um, for instance, he was talking about the eagle and how the mama eagle has to sit on the egg for like, I think he said 35 days. And, you know, at that during that time, she never feels any movement from the egg. The egg doesn't grow. It doesn't get any bigger. Um, but yet she still sits there faithfully um, knowing or, or believing, you know, that something's going to come of it. And so I really, I don't know, it just really hit me today that I've not been doing that. I have not been like that mama eagle. I haven't been fully trusting in God and knowing that he's working for me behind the scenes, you know, you know, as far as like my job situation and, um, really just everything in my life. Um, you know, and, and he talked about, um, how sometimes, you know, maybe you're not ready, um, for what he has in store for you. Maybe you have more growing to do. Maybe you, he, he wants you to fully rely on him more. Um, or maybe the person, there's a person that he's, um, bringing to you, um, to help you with your situation and they're not ready. Um, and that was something I never considered before. Um, how God uses other people sometimes, um, when he's blessing us and maybe that person's not ready, you know, maybe there's someone, um, that he's going to use, um, to bless you and, you know, they're not ready to receive it or they're not at a point in their life where they're ready to, to assist. Um, you know, and it, and it could take years. It could take months, days, years, you know, for, um, for your prayers to be answered and they're not necessarily going to be answered in the way that you feel like they should be answered like you know god god has a plan for our lives and it's not always <laughs> what we think it should be it's it's what is best for us and so i feel like all those things combined today just really um hit me um, and it was exactly what I needed to hear. Um, and, and isn't that how God works? I mean, he, he does things like that to get us in on the mindset that we need to be in. And so, you know, I'm, like I said, I've been taking things day by day and just trying to do what I need to do on my end. And, you know, that's all we can do. And I just have to wait on the Lord for what is what, you know, what his plan for my life is. And I want to say welcome. Um, this is off topic, but welcome to all my new subscribers. I know a lot of you originally started following me because I do. I was doing Bible journaling and uh, plan with me's and things like that. Um, and over the course of time, my channel has kind of evolved into other things. But I, I still 
enjoy doing these things and I'm still going to continue to do them. I may not do them um, as often, um, but I am trying to do it um, to get back into it. Um, so for those of you that have stayed and have been patient um, and supportive of the changes of my channel, thank you. And for my new subscribers, um, you know, I kind of do, I have a little bit of everything. Um, I do haul videos. Um, I do challenges. I do collaborations with other channels. Um, mostly a lot of DIY and uh, paper craft type stuff. Um, and then also um, I do, um, I haven't done them in a really long time, but I'm going to get back into my plan with me's and journaling. I'm going to start doing a lot more journaling. Um, and I kind of want to get into junk journals. Um, I really like um, the concept. I just, you know, I, I've been scared, I guess, <laughs> um, about getting into it. But um, that's definitely something I am interested in. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you for being here. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, maybe they're not religious and they don't want to hear, you know, those things. But I feel like as a Christian, part of our job is to be a light to others and, um, you know, and do things that may not necessarily be comfortable. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm very uncomfortable talking about God. Um, used, I used to not post things about God on my Facebook and, and things like that because I was like, you know, I want people to like me. But that's wrong like I can't hide I shouldn't hide who I am and if people don't like me um or you know follow me because I'm a Christian you know that's that's you know I, I, I can't help that I'm gonna be true to myself and and post and talk about things that um I believe in and hopefully um somewhere along the way um maybe somebody will come to Christ and uh And that's, you know, that's the best thing I could hope for. Let's see. I want to, I need to highlight. So I have highlighters. They're like these gel crayon highlighters for my Bible. Um, but I don't want to get up and get them. And I forgot to get them. So I'm just going to highlight this verse um, with my yellow um, colored pencil. Just so... And then sometimes in the margin, I will, um, I'll write a little bit about like either what I'm going through or how I perceived this, um, the verse that I'm reading or the passage that I'm reading. Um, and, and I would do that here. So, um. I also am thinking about putting some kind of sticker. Sometimes I like to do tabs of some sort. And there's a lot of good, I, and I've mentioned this before, I do not, I know I got this sticker, um, book from A.C. Moore like years and years and years ago but I cannot remember who who is the um, creator and it's very it, it reminds me of some artist that does like stickers and stationery and stuff but I cannot remember and nowhere on any of the pages does it say um Oh, here we go. Here's a Prey sticker. We could put that in there. And that flower there kind of goes with the, the, the flowers in the girl's hair. So maybe we can put this in the corner here. That'd be cute. Or, I don't even know if I'm in frame, y'all. Okay, good. You can see. Maybe I'll come in a little bit closer here so you can see more. More better. <laughs> And I'm gonna kind of put this up here, and I think I'm gonna do kind of like a like a thought bubble. Let me 
Um, let's see what else I can find. I like this faith. So like this just breathe don't stress and walk by faith and then also God has this because you know what he does and I don't have to worry, even though as a human, isn't that what we do? We worry, we stress, we, we don't trust in him. I think I'm going to look through here too. No, none of those. Okay. But, you know, we, we do that a lot. We, we, we doubt, we... We forget who's in control. So, um, I know this is kind of short, um, but I really felt led to do this um, this particular scripture today and to talk about the podcast that I listen to. Um, and if you can't find it, um, I do have an Apple iPhone. Um, I, I would imagine it's also in the Google Play Store, um, but I don't know. Um, but if you ever have any questions about anything that I listen to or um, anything, please reach out. I'm, I'm happy to help. Um, I'm not a preacher. I, I don't know all the answers, um, but I'm happy to talk to you if you need somebody to talk to. Um, you know, about anything. It doesn't have to be about religion. It can be about anything, um, you know, because a lot of times as an army wife and moving around a lot, um, you know, yeah, I have friends, but I don't always feel like I have someone to, to talk to. Um, so, you know, if you ever just need somebody to, to listen, um, I'm, I'm happy to be that ear for you. Just email me. My email is in my about section. It's in every, almost every description um, in all of my videos. Um, you know, and I'll give you my phone number if you want to talk. Um, or you can friend me on Facebook and we can talk through Messenger. You know, whatever you want to do. FaceTime, whatever. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you're having a blessed week. Um, and I will be back um, with another video soon, another Bible journal video soon. I have some um, challenges, some collaborations coming up. Um, I'm going to get back into my plan with me. Is I'm going to plan next week for the first week in April. Um, and that's when I'm going to start getting back into my planning. So thank you all for hanging with me. Um, through changes, through lulls in my videos. Um, I do have a challenge um, giveaway going on right now. It's not a challenge. It's a giveaway for 300 subscribers. Go check that video out. It will be linked in the description below. I love you all. God loves you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.